If you've been battling with persistent algae outbreaks, you may have come across hydrogen peroxide as a potential contender for treatment. But before you reach for that bottle, it's crucial to understand the hidden risk that comes with using hydrogen peroxide as an algae side. H2O2 has the potential to damage plants. Do you see this dip in the HC Cuba carpet? After using peroxide to remove a small amount of algae, the entire tank's balance was completely thrown off. I was never able to regrow that section, and the tank was overrun with algae as you can see in this clip, which resulted in me restarting this tank. HC Cuba isn't the only plant that is sensitive to H2O2. Many users on planettank.net have shared their experiences with the interaction between H2O2 and certain plants. Here's a few examples of incompatible plants from the form. So why is H2O2 so deadly in the first place? Why do we even use it? Well, the main reason is through a process called corrosive oxidation. Without going too scientific, corrosive oxidation is a chemical reaction in which hydrogen peroxide acts as an oxidizing agent, leading to the breakdown or degradation of organic material, including cell membranes, proteins, and lipids. This process occurs through the generation of reactive oxygen species, also known as ROS. Logan Rando has an in-depth scientific breakdown video of how hydrogen peroxide actually kills algae. Hydrogen peroxide has shown to be effective in suppressing cyanobacteria or blue-green algae blooms in lakes and water reservoirs, especially at higher light intensities. Mind you, this paper only used a single strain of cyanobacteria, so it may not apply to other strains. Plus, I ain't no biologist, so I wouldn't know either. While hydrogen peroxide can significantly reduce algae levels, it may not fully eliminate it, especially in a high biomass and unbalanced environment. The main reason is due to the fact that you are not fully treating the main cause of the algae. Hydrogen peroxide is just a bandage. It is not a cure. One other common mistake is neglecting to perform proper maintenance after the algae has been temporarily controlled. When dead algae decompose, it's turned into ammonia, which can potentially nourish any remaining algae spores in the tank, thus initiating a new cycle of growth. Fortunately, plants have the ability to use ammonium as a source of nitrogen. Ammonium is the less toxic equivalent of ammonia and is more concentrated at lower pH values. Even more, some plant species prefer to use ammonium more than nitrates. So, if you have healthy plant growth, you may have an easier time rebalancing the aquarium after an H2O2 treatment, especially if you utilize fast-growing stem plants and floating plants to their full potential. If your tank has gotten to the point where chemicals are your last resort, or you just simply want to use hydrogen peroxide for algae, here are various situations and techniques to correctly utilize it. Hydrogen peroxide works exceptionally well when it comes to removing algae from equipment without the need for harsh chemicals such as bleach. A 1 to 1 solution of 3% hydrogen peroxide and water will be enough to remove algae. Let the equipment sit in the solution for about 10 to 30 minutes. If the solution is not strong enough, you may up this ratio to 2 to 1 or even higher, depending on how much peroxide you are willing to use. Further more, for tough algae such as green spot algae, using a brush will help tremendously. Using peroxide on hardscape is another great application, as long as you don't have any sensitive plants such as moss on them. Furthermore, it's a great disinfectant for scavenged material if you do not want to boil them. If you're going to be using H2O2 in the aquarium, you can add 1 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide per gallon. At these levels of concentration, general livestock will not be affected. However, if you are still worried, the next best method would be spot dozing. This is a pinpoint method that requires a pipette or syringe. This technique works best for areas of infection, and you do not have to worry about affecting sensitive plants or livestock unless they come say hi. Please make sure that you turn off any filter or pump that circulates water before applying, and try not to go over 1 ml per gallon. If you have algae on plants and are applying to completely restart it, you can use H2O2 as a bath treatment. You can prepare a plant bath by mixing 1 part 3% hydrogen peroxide to 5 parts of water. Plants should only be in the solution for about 1-2 to two minutes, and then rinse to remove any residual peroxide. Fair warning, I would not recommend doing this with any type of moss or sensitive plants such as Monte Carlo, but this is exactly what I did when I restarted one of my tanks that was decimated by algae. If you want the absolute best chance of success with hydrogen peroxide and algae control, you will need to start balancing your tank the moment you kill the algae. You will need to make sure that your plants have enough nutrients, lights, and CO2 to outcompete any new algae growth, otherwise it will come back to bite you. However, if you are still struggling with algae and are unsure what the root cause is, check out this video where I go over all the common types of algae, their triggers, and how to remove them in just under 5 minutes.